And I told them about a yard sale that happens. It happens quite frequently. And the goods that are sold is always the same consistent items. You pull up to the house and it's Satan's house. For sale at his yard sale are things like jealousy, deceit, strife, foolish talk. But then separate from all of those items is another item. You know, when you go to a museum, they put items that are extremely valuable. They put them in a case. So somebody asks, they say, well, why is that item separate from this and the other things? He said, well, that's my most valuable item. It's discouragement. They said, well, why is that your most valuable item? He says, because whenever I get the Christians to take a hold of this item, it keeps them from rejoicing. Yes, yes, that's right. That's right, exactly. Have you gone to Satan's yard sale and purchased discouragement? Have you gone to Satan's yard sale and purchased discouragement? Ladies and gentlemen, you are blessed. Right. Don't fall into Satan's foothold, allowing yourself to, to think that you're not blessed because of your circumstances. Yeah. Let me read to you from the Message Bible, Philippians 4. The Apostle Paul wrote, Rejoice in the Lord always. I'm going to read to you 4 through 9. Celebrate God every day, all day. Celebrate God every day, all day. Uh, I mean, revel in Him. Make it as clear as you can to all you meet that you're on their side. Working with them and not against them. Help them see that the Master is about to arrive. He could show up any minute. Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting your God know your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good, will come and settle you down. Wow. It's wonderful what happens when Christ displaces worry at the center of your life. Summing it all up, friends, I say, You'll do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, yes. reputable, yes. authentic, yes. compelling, yes. gracious, yes. the best, not the worst, oh the beautiful, not the ugly, yes. things to praise, not things to curse. Put into practice what you learned from me, what you heard and saw and realized. Do that in God who makes everything work together, will work you in to his most wonderful harmonies. Ladies and gentlemen, stop being discouraged because of your circumstance or situation. Yeah. And then sometimes you got to get raunchy with the devil. You got to yeah. tell hell no. Yes. Got to hell no. Yeah. Tell, you know, cause tell hell no. Amen. Hello? Amen. Hello? Tell hell no. no. No, I don't want your stuff. Yes. I don't want your discouragement. Yes. It's not a, a spirit that God has given me. That's right. That's right. Hell no, I don't, I don't want your stuff. You're not going to take that thing. It's just going to infect me. Just like joy is infectious, so is discouragement. 